Wow. How many other videos have you watched that you think, why did I marry this man? <laughs> <laughs> There's a number of them. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 7 of the HH Gaming Podcast, brought to you by HellHades.com. Once again, I am joined by my co-host of the show, Paul, uh, and today we have a very special guest. Uh, Lady H herself has come to talk to us and answer the questions from the community. Uh, how are you doing, guys? Good. I'm not bad. All right. Hot. Yeah. It's warm. It is too hot. Super hot. Although, it's supposed to break tomorrow, and I'm holding on to that hope that Can't I will actually longer. be able to breathe. Because, um, yeah, I, I think Saturday is supposed to be ridiculous thunderstorms as well, which could be amazing. I love thunderstorms. Uh, okay, that's a bit of a tangent. <laughs> <laughs> right, awesome. So, Rachel, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Um, and uh, we've been asking the community questions this week. Oh, we've been asking the community to share their questions this week as to the information that they want to find out from you. Um, mm -hmm. mainly about uh, Simon <laughs> <laughs> to dish up the dirt. Um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll, ju we'll jump into it um, first of all, because I think, to be honest, a lot of the questions that we could ask are going to be answered within these anyway. Um, so first question we've got from Athros um, saying, do you think that Hell Hades spends too much time on raid? <laughs> <laughs> so I think... I that can count for every game he's ever played. <laughs> it's, not, it's not just raid. I don't. It's it's different now. It's his job. It's yeah. He he does spend a lot of time in his little corner at his PC. <laughs> his but, um, is that what is that? It's, it's dubbed in the house. His little, the little corner. corner. Yeah, it's his little corner. He get an office suit. He's in the corner. But... I'm in the basement. You know. <laughs> thought, you all I need to know you your places. Upgraded. Exactly. <laughs> I thought I got put in the basement and you got upgraded into like the like the outer cupboard, the cupboard on the stairs. Yeah. Like Harry Potter cupboard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 No, good. I don't I don't think he plays it too much. No. It's no, I don't think so. I mean he's he's always been into gaming, hasn't he? So I guess that's something that you've always been sort of comfortable yeah. with him being able to have that as his downtime. So um Yeah. Yeah. He's always in fact always had a corner of the living room <laughs> it's like my house <laughs> yeah because it was like well we could put you in another room you could go and have a desk in the kitchen so then you'd never see him out there but yeah, yeah exactly yeah but so, at least while he's in here we can still have a chat and he keeps one eye on the terrible tv that i watch <laughs> he knows what's going on in desperate housewives <laughs> Of course oh, he does. Oh, I that, thought you that were is, into like that is the dirt there i thought you were into like <laughs> crime tv shows not desperate housewives I, I do like crime as well. <laughs> We've heard stories about this, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so so st Stormy Clouds, um, and this kind of ties into, uh, you know, obviously, um, Hell Hades, Simon's got a passion for gaming. It's a big part of his life. Um, how, how many games that he plays can you actually name? A pub quiz, that is. <laughs> Ooh, I like a pub quiz. Uh, got Raid, League of Legends. Oh, what's the who? T something that he was playing recently? Got well, tactics involved tactics. in it. Yeah, team fight tactics. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. Three points. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Can't think of any other off the top of my head. I think the only Big other fun. one that I'd probably throw Valorant, in there is right? Valorant. Yeah, I did think that one, but I didn't know if he'd played that in a while. But yeah. And hopefully New that, World, if you can get past the login queues. Yeah, he queued up in New yeah. World. Um, yeah, it's about as far as he got, right? Got kicked out about two or three times or something. <laughs> yeah, we all did. <laughs> did you hear the stress from the corner? <laughs> Stupid I game. I went to bed. <laughs> I was like that yesterday with it. Stupid game. I was like, I got kicked out back to a position like 607 with one minute left. And then 20 minutes later, it's like, I've not moved anywhere. What? This it's, makes no yeah, sense. Yeah, it's... it's it's, it's got weird issues at the moment, but it's a testing phase. So I guess, you know, exactly. it's too, to be expected, but you know, um, a bit painful for me, especially because mm. I got my shiny new computer and it does not seem to like that game at all. Um, but it doesn't look like I'm the only person in the world, with this issue. So, mm. uh, yeah. So Paul, Paul, do you want to jump onto the next question? So this, so we got a couple of questions here. So from peanut, um, how many times after a stream has he come to you and said, you wouldn't believe the stupid stuff these crayon eaters were saying this time? <laughs> <laughs> I think I probably should have paraphrased that better. 
And <laughs> is really that a stream answer, or a meeting with us? Um, I don't know. <laughs> we'll skip like that it. one. I guess the it next... means like I guess it means toddlers, crayon eaters, yeah. toddlers. I, I'm guessing it just means like crazy people but, online. I guess. Yeah. Which, yep. let's face it, there's a lot of crazy people online. <laughs> it's true. Okay, well, we'll just skip that question yeah. and we'll go to yeah. the next one. Did you know when you got married that he had such amazing acting talents? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. I'm blown away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so are we. <laughs> it's awful. It, it is awful. He said to me yesterday, he was like, have we uh, got any caps kicking about? And I was like, what for? Are you doing Frank? I was like, <laughs> "Is Frank coming back?" If, if it's Frank, it's no. He was like, yeah. "Well, I might." I was like, oh. Easily my least favorite. Uh, <laughs> Frank's Frank. brilliant though. The community love Frank. Oh. Do, you do you have like a, a, a favorite to least favorite of his different personas <laughs> and acting? <laughs> you want well, to the top us? of it's his normal one, and then Frank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the exaggerated version of himself. At the I'm top. sure he's done like a like a Mexican version of himself as near for something. I've it's possible seen... we do own a sombrero yeah <laughs> i'm sure i've seen something like that for one of the champions i can't remember which one it was you might have done we've the, covered the, all of um, them now was it the board meeting one where he did all the different <laughs> that was all amazing. the different accents yeah. yeah i was actually crying it's the most ridiculous thing i've ever heard <laughs> i think when he went to australian or something like that he was oh, crying God. yes oh yeah. lord have, have you ever had family around uh, like whilst he's trying to record, just uh, to see no. that. that oh. <laughs> no, no. A few of the kids see... have been here, but not not yeah, grown up. I'd love I don't to see somebody else's it. impression as to what was going. <laughs> Especially <laughs> if they had no idea like what he does. Yeah, I don't think he would do it in front of them. I don't think he'd record videos <laughs> while there was anyone here. No, <laughs> just I'd catch him off guard. Bit... Come come you... home with some of your friends whilst whilst he's recording one day. <laughs> <laughs> he would hate it. Yeah, he would hate it. <laughs> Um, so another question that uh, Peanuts ask is, do, do you play games at all? Um, and if so, uh, are you only not streaming to protect his fragile ego from you being more successful <laughs> at it? No, I don't play any. Not, not into games at all? Not really, no. I've got a couple on my phone that just sort of pass the time for five minutes, but it's literally the most boring game. I like, <laughs> I like word puzzles if I was going to play anything. Yeah. yeah, I like a word game. Words with friends. But Words with friends is great. Words with friends was okay. That's the scrabbly one, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 That was all right. But I kept playing someone who just did two letter words all the time. And you know, and you're like, no. It's yeah. Boring. That's not a word I, that I you also, use. I also found language. in that because I used to play it with my girlfriend and um, I would find that she would put words in that weren't even English. Yeah. And it seemed to get points for it. Like yeah. the logic. Like, Loads of points. Yeah. Was it just words that you didn't know? Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face. Not I, mean, I googled them and they, did, they didn't look english i mean you'd hope that a game that is actually designed to be a scrabble would have some form of dictionary in it right otherwise kind of yeah but let's face it these games some of them are just in it for the money is that safe to say <laughs> i think so. I, th I think yeah. i know one that might be <laughs> i've no idea what you're talking about <laughs> so the next question comes from socks as in SOX, not the sock, which would be weird. <laughs> what were your first thoughts when uh, Hell Hades decided to get into content creation full time? Uh, I think we didn't know a lot about about it really. I mean, he, I knew that he'd been watching quite a lot of videos. I remember hearing Stu's voice quite a lot. Yeah. While we're laying in bed, he's watching. It's very loud, isn't it? it carries. Yeah, Stu will love to know Which that. Which is nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to make Stu's day, you know that. <laughs> yeah. And then he just kind of went, I think I'd like to give this a bash. And I was like, mm, seems weird to me, but okay, whatever. Uh, and some time went past and he mentioned it to a couple of other people. And he was like, oh, I'm just going to try it. And he's he's quite ballsy like that. Yeah. He will yeah. just, just give it a bash. Um, But yeah, I think it wasn't until it started to pick up quite quickly we were, i was a bit like okay this is an actual thing yeah because his, his channel just picked hobby. up quite quickly and you know that is with the help of uh people like Stu, um who yeah. sort of recommended his videos and um, yeah he did really early on Stu sort of gave him a little yeah. shout but he um we sort of googled because obviously we knew what you needed to get to to be um monetized yeah as a channel and we sort of googled to see oh how long does it take to get to a thousand subscribers and it was literally anything from a few months mm. to 
a couple of years. Yeah. It was ridiculous. So when sort of we'd wake up in the morning and have a little look to see how many had gone up by overnight, it was like, <laughs> actually, holy cow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is bonkers. Stu, what have you done? <laughs> yeah. How, how stressed out was he in the early days? Because I'd imagine, like, if I was to do something like that, I'd be so, because I'm a bit of a math geek, I'd be on the numbers, like, oh, it's only gone up by this, it's, it's not as much, or was he really stressed out, or was he just, like, power on to the next video? No, and just I move think on? He, he just decided that he liked it, or found that he liked it. He enjoyed making mm. the videos and, yeah. and stuff, and he got a really good reception when he first started, which I think probably just spurred him on a little bit. He didn't stress, because it was just a hobby, yeah. At that point, the first what, four months, four or five mm. months, it wasn't it wasn't a stress. It was like, yeah, you know, I think it only became a stress when it got to the point where it was like, I can't actually keep up and do yeah. my full time job and spend time with the family. Yeah. That's Something's when it got a give. bit much. Yeah. 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 And that's that, that's gotta be a hard decision because there's so much potential in what you're doing in terms of turning your hobby into a job but at the same time you're walking away from that security of having a full-time income you've got a family to support you know uh you know it, it must have been incredibly difficult to make that decision as to one do we give this a real go or two do we just stop doing it and you know make sure that we've got family time and time for work yeah. and, and things like that yeah I think he's said before you know there there was a point where it's like actually I think this could be full-time and if it all goes to pot in a year or so, I'll go back to the job I was doing because he's well known, he's well respected mm. in his previous job, and it wouldn't be too difficult for him to get a job back in that industry. Yeah. But yeah. I but... think quite quickly it became like, actually, I wouldn't even want to go back no, to no, that. No. I can make something work around this business now. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think that's, that's something that I've seen. Um, because I mean, I've been doing this nearly eight months now full time. And um, I would never, or it's, unless I absolutely had to, I would not go back to a standard nine to five job. I would no. try and find something within this industry, which, you know, I think, uh, you know, if, if, something, if, if something was to happen, you know, one day uh, we wake up and everything that we've built to this point has disappeared. I think we could rebuild ourselves actually very quickly into something else. May, may that yeah. be moving into a different game or, or something like that. I, you know, I think we've, we've, we've made so many mistakes along, along the way yeah. that we've kind of learned how to streamline that process. And, you know, the, the biggest thing is just hard work. Um, yeah. I mean, you must've seen it when, uh, I mean, even, even um, you guys in, in the early stages of when we were building that website, you know, every single one of us was working ridiculous hours um, to, to get that yeah. to the point where, you know, it's now a, you know, a, a decent sized business. Um, and yeah, I think uh, once you sort of learn and you adapt to this way of life, I guess, that you have to be self-motivated enough to actually put in the work yourself. But if you are willing to do it, it's, it's really rewarding and it beats going to work nine to five for somebody else. Um, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, that was absolutely. that was my point as well. When he when he got to the real point of, oh, shall I, shan't I? Yeah. sort of just go for it and do it full time I was like when are you ever going to get a chance to do something yeah. that you love this yeah. much as your job like yeah. it's not going to happen again just do it it's we'll, kind of we'll a perfect storm work. right because right. obviously with COVID and everything everyone's already in a position of lots of changes going on so it's like well if I'm going to do it there's loads of people currently watching and playing games on furlough so it was kind of like the perfect time to do everything I guess yeah yeah I mean if it hadn't yeah. been for furlough um and COVID and lockdown and things like that I would have never had the time to even start interacting with Simon and helping him out with editing videos and yep. things like that. It just wouldn't, wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so, I mean, ov obviously a lot of bad things happened last year and uh, you know, there's a lot of negativity about it, but actually for people in our industry, it opened up a lot of doors. Um, and, you know, I'm grateful in a sense that, you know, it, it gave me the ability to, you know, do something which I've always wanted to do, mm. but never really had the opportunity to do it um yeah um so next question was from uh voodoo's child how do you deal with somebody with such a bad addiction to greg's sausage rolls <laughs> <laughs> he's not even that addicted <laughs> just from? that one it's time a meme yeah it was that, that one time, time i let him out <laughs> <laughs> and don't let him out of the house and that was what he did i think the sneakier part was the yum yum 
It wasn't even yeah. the sausage roll. I, yeah. I don't get the point of a yum yum. Like, I, mini rant happening now. What is the point of a yum yum? It's like a donut without jam. It's in the shape of like some sort of like swirl, but there's nothing in it. It's just pastry with sugar, which is bad for you. And it doesn't I think taste it's the anything. sugar. <laughs> oh, they're delicious. Like, what is the point of yum yums? <laughs> like, either get a donut or get like a cheese twist thing or a chocolate twist thing. You like. I reckon if you just had a, had a yum yum and a pot of jam. <clears throat> I went for okay, a dip well, technique that would probably top a donut. No. Nope. Mm. <laughs> yum yums yeah. are delicious. It depends what? how filled the donut is, though, right? But the I donuts mean, some... don't, they don't have sugar on anymore. What, the some of them ones? just come with crappy icing sugar. To be yeah, honest, they're all the going to end stuff. up sweaty and horrible but at this time of year anyway. So <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, that's the biggest thing that I find with do- donuts, the sugar ones. You bring them home and they look great when you get them out of the shop and you put them on the side at home. A couple of hours later, they're just like this wet mess. <laughs> so what i don't horrible. get about greg's second rant why do you have like iced buns and then the first thing they do with those iced buns they do it in starbucks as well they put it in the paper bag yeah so all they the ice gets it. stuck in the bag and i'm like that's to make them healthier like, i i used to have they used to like my old job they used to make a bit of a joke because i always used to go to greg's back like two years ago and if i was going to go there i'd get like a, an apple danish but i'd specifically ask for it in a box because i'm like i'm not going to lose half the ice in so there's always <laughs> apple danish in a box it's just like common sense, right? <laughs> they were like, oh, here he comes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's it's, the, box, da- it's the Danish guy. <laughs> if anyone was going to like the shop or anything, I'd say, oh, you can have an apple Danish in a box, but make sure you ask for it in a box. That's the more important part. Otherwise, you I lose love half that you're the min-maxing your lunchtime snacks. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about efficiency. Yeah. I, I, I have issues with it. I just, I just don't get it. I mean, surely someone in the whole like, like, baking chain must have thought hmm, it's a bad idea putting icing on paper bags <laughs> anyway Cheap, cheaper than a box uh, that, that is probably the truth yeah driven by money yep not by experience <laughs> so so we've got we've got a a, a question from a, an anonymous source um by that i mean hell hades um you're not meant saying, to say that if 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 hell hades gets famous um, are you fine if he has several additional model wives, like one <laughs> per day of the week? <laughs> Only if one does the bathrooms, one yeah. hoovers. It, yeah. That's, uh, that sounds like a fair deal to me. Yeah. As long as they have a skill set is what you're saying. So yeah. they can't just sit around doing that thing. They've I got to have so. some form of role. Yeah. yeah. I'd be useless. At that. Well, oh, it up your time, right? I need a I mean... chef. Yeah. One of them can cook. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fine. So- Simon cooks though, doesn't he? Come on! Wait, <laughs> you say what? <laughs> different, different guy. It must be your other husband. I'm not. I'm not sure. But... It's probably Frank. <laughs> yeah. didn't, didn't he used to own a restaurant or something? He, he. I mean, he he puts out on stream that he's a he's a cook. He cleans. He. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll use the term restaurant loosely, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we're dishing the real dirt now. Restaurant on, without man. the capital R. <laughs> yeah. It was a takeaway. We did. We had a takeaway. A Mexican right. takeaway. Um, but there was nothing very complex. I mean, he will tell you all about how he used to make his own salsa, but it was throw it all in a blender and there's your salsa. So I mean, if it works. Oh, you had to get the recipe from somewhere, I suppose. It was yeah. Google's clusters. a hell of a tool. Yeah, yeah, we did. But he at home, he doesn't really, he doesn't really cook. Oh. Every now and then, he might. He actually enjoys cooking more than I do. I, I love doesn't cooking do myself. It. I just refuse to do it. I enjoy oh. I enjoy cooking, but I. I'm too, one, I'm too much of a perfectionist, so I'll end up spending far too long. Like the rest, you put like it in a box. Minutes. No, no, <laughs> no plates at all. <laughs> it's, it's literally like I'll spend the rest, you'll say like 40 minutes prep time, and I'll be there like an hour and a half later. It's like, I don't know how you do this because I'm like trying to chop it properly according to the instructions and following it to the letter of the law. And then two hours later, I finally got food, and it's just like I've made a mess everywhere. And I'm like, this is just too much oh. effort. Yeah, for, just ring Domino's, it's not worth it. <laughs> No, Domino's, I can't do it. Can you do it for me? Please? They need to invent, like, uh, I know they've got stuff like you can get meals delivered to your house in, in pre cardboard boxes, but if I can just have like a subscription fee where I pay like 30 pounds a, a month or so, a week or something, and they just bring me the food pre cooked, that would be amazing. Oh, what a, what a service amazing. that would be! Business opportunity there because I, I actually be do get um, meals sent to me I'm with a company called Muscle Food um, yeah. because mm-hmm. I'm trying to get in shape again. Um, you still have to prepare that, like, it's yeah, I still have you to prepare have to it, it right? and cook it, but it, it literally comes. So, I get a bag 
um, with all the ingredients for each meal in that bag. And I just put it, like, take that bag out of the fridge and then I have to chop things and put them in the, in the oven is kind of the extent of it. Yeah. I, I that, think they simplify it for simple people like me. So it's still too much Perfect. work for me. Yeah. Just literally give me the plate with the food cooked, you know, like when you used to have parents that did it for you those days. <laughs> and then get one we, of those other wives to take it away have... and wash it up. Yeah, problem solved. Bam. Exactly. That's what we need, like an adult version of parent cooking that just continues as a subscription to you throughout your entire life. It's easy. <laughs> Simple. I like it. <laughs> just call it like cool mum or something like that. And, uh... <laughs> That's a good... Uh, there you go, see? <laughs> there, there's, there's the business side of me coming out there. <laughs> right, next question from Elvo. I, and Elvo is obviously one of our content writers, which is why this question comes in. He's asking, do I annoy you with my capital letter addiction <laughs> when you're proofreading for me? Lol. <laughs> me being in capital letters, by the way. Yes. <laughs> he he likes, a, likes a capital letter. <laughs> in <laughs> fact, I've, I've just noticed every <laughs> single word that he's written in this uh, question starts with a capital letter. And, and then the me Except is... For when you. <laughs> <laughs> Not even consistent. <laughs> no, this is my point. Capital yeah. letters, fine, but keep it consistent. <laughs> I, when, when I used to um, work my old job, they used to have like, um, obviously I worked in a training company, so I have a bunch of trainers. So they'd write all these like learner books and things and then they'd hand them to me and say, oh, can you like design them? Mm-hmm. And it's like, I don't know how, how you find it, but like proofreading and editing people's work when they just do really like bad grammar mistakes or things that are, are dated are so frustrating. This one person would triple space after every sentence. It was the most infuriating thing. Every time, triple space. Did, triple was, space. Their, was their keyboard broken? Well, no, apparently she, she was like, oh, I was taught to do it when I was younger. I was like, where? Oh. By who? Oh. <laughs> like when you are little, you have to put your finger, don't you, after a... Did you learn that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You finger put your spaces. finger after the full stop yeah. and then you yeah. start your... Patch. Yeah, finger, like, finger on her spaces. screen, like... Yeah. <laughs> this this is <laughs> so one, two, three. Right, so finger space is about three spaces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just do the same thing. Yeah, it's frustrating. I mean, the good thing about the, uh, the, our web content as well, I suppose, you don't have to worry necessarily about font sizing and all that kind of stuff. All you have to worry about is, are they actually writing sensible sentences? Does it make Can sense? I read yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Nothing actually, worse. everyone is pretty good at it. Everyone, there's not a mainly you, skim and eye it, over stuff. Do you, do you find it difficult to proof content that is about raid? Because, I mean obviously you've been involved in raid as a whole for you know like two years now um but actually the the, the more in-depth discussion and things like that that you're um yeah i was gonna say because uh obvi- obviously we're writing content to help people learn about the game i think probably subconsciously you're you're probably a master at the game and you don't realize it <laughs> i don't know i think i see the words but none of them stick they don't they don't go in <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's like when you're doing the summon events. You now uh, you went from don't know any of these champions to oh that one's quite good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> I know a little bit of that. But um I no, think we should test you not... on the next shard pool stream that you do. Uh, some somebody's <laughs> gonna pull something. Can you be like, oh I know this one? This one's A2 is great for clan boss. <laughs> so two yeah, times no, this not, weekend. Not is he gonna is he gonna get you involved in the, the competition? Because you tend to slaughter him on these ones, don't you? I don't know. He hasn't asked yet. We'll see. That's normally t- like a Friday afternoon. Oh, I'll tell you what. Stream in today. Whether whether he's asked or not, I think he may have already announced it. That was how I found out last time. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, that's, that's Friday night. So you just follow Discord to keep up with what's going on in your own house. It's yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> just wait for the Twitter announcement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Um, <laughs> so um, we've got. How, how do we say this name? Cabin Joy. Cab- Cabin Joy? Cabin-, Cabin Joy would like to know what it's like being married to a world famous celebrity. <laughs> not doing good for his ego here, are we? No. <laughs> Giving him all. like six wives, calling him world famous. Any of this. <laughs> um, it's just the same. Yep. <laughs> it's I-, the I heard same. you had a weird encounter in a restaurant um, where yeah, somebody we... recognized him. Yeah, we went out for breakfast and he got recognized. Yeah. 
which actually my sister's dining out on that more than anybody. Uh, we have the same hairdresser. And when I went last week, she was like, oh, I hear he got recognised out for breakfast because my sister had told her. She, I hear she loves it more it. than I do. Yeah. No, that's so cool. It, I mean, it's it's, 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 it's got to be weird. Um, especially when weird. you're so like, although obviously so many people are seeing the content that we put out, the actual environment that we're developing it in is very closed you know it's just yeah. us sat on computers so seeing somebody out and about who's like oh I've seen your video that's that's got to be strange yeah um, I think it probably is a bit weird <laughs> well I had someone um on Instagram as well actually sort of messaged them, like uh are you in Ashford or wherever and I was like uh yeah and awkward like, oh, not thought I'd seen you I'm gonna look out for you and I'm like oh god and then he said where he lived and I was like oh man I'm over there quite a lot <laughs> and I'm like can I go out looking like I normally go out <laughs> you'd be there with a trench coat and a cap now going yeah. can't go anyway in case yeah. I get spotted yeah the dark sunglasses ready I was thinking more like do I have to brush my hair now <laughs> in the house Oh, just in case pap shots happen, you know, pap rats. Yeah, it's, it's going to get leaked on Twitch. If you start something. seeing glints yeah. in the bushes outside, then you know you've got a problem. That's what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying. I think we're safe for now. I don't, yeah. I don't know if he, how he would handle it if anyone asked for a picture or anything like that, a selfie. I think he would hate it. Oh, I don't I know. He might, he would happily do it. He'd happily oblige somebody, but I think inside wait, you would Wait be till like, we get oh, in God. to some of the gaming events or something like that once they start up again, because... Uh, <laughs> you're almost guaranteed if you if you're on twitch you're almost guaranteed to get recognized by somebody at yeah. one of these events yeah. and, uh, and he has got a lot of influence i suppose when you look at how much viewers he gets and can we yeah. stop feeding his ego yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe yeah. so next question yeah. comes from iduna iduna oh, i can't people have normal names <laughs> uh, no offense to iduna <laughs> uh, sorry about that has becoming a content creator made hh a happier person and the follow-up question as well when you move are you getting your living room back <laughs> um happier person he's definitely more chilled out not that he's ever particularly stressed he's not just not no. that type of person no. nothing really faces him particularly um but we probably laugh a lot more mm-hmm which I would say then, I suppose, yeah. He's it's a quite... happier person. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> are, you, are you a happier person for seeing him constantly in the house? I suppose, All day, every day. I suppose well, it's a bit the... of a change, right? Yeah, when we move, he is going to have his office and I am going to have the living room back. And I'm You're going to miss like, him. Maybe I'm going to have to put an armchair in the office because <laughs> I'm going to get a bit lonely. Just, Just to go like, and sit knock the wall through or something. <laughs> Like, yeah, it, and maybe not, I'm not that lonely. He'll have to get a laptop or something so that he can uh, spend some time in the living room he as well. Come in. Yeah. That... Well, he does. We do actually take sort of a bit of time and we've worked through like a number of TV series and stuff. So at the minute we're watching Game of Thrones. So, you know, he does Ooh. take time to come away and we'll sit and watch a couple of episodes yeah. or whatever. So, yeah, I think he'll, he'll continue that. What, uh, what season are you up to? God, three. Oh, it's all right. You've got a lot of good stuff to go then before it gets just... Uh, hmm, yeah, he's watched it a couple of times, I think. I've tried twice <laughs> and I just kept falling asleep. Yeah. And then I'd spend the first 10 minutes of every episode going, who were they? What yeah. The, what there's are they? a lot of Where changes. Are they going? Yeah. Yeah, there's so many people. I just, it hurt my head. So I just used <laughs> to fall asleep. It's a lot of storylines like, no going point. on at the same time. In yeah. Um, Following yeah. it a bit better this time. We're watching it in the daytime, <laughs> not at Perfect. night. I'm doing all right. <laughs> Staying awake. <laughs> I can stay awake. So on 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 the subject of um, uh, sleep, uh, Peanut wants to know: uh, Does does Hell Haley snore? Feels like he is a snorer. Apparently, he is a snorer. <laughs> he won't thank me for telling you that, but he's a snorer. Now we're just lowering the ego. We've raised yes. it up, and now we're yeah. bringing him back right down. down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's an easy answer. Yes, awesome. <laughs> yeah, like like a beast. Mm-hmm. Um, is, okay. Um, his sorry, his brother, when he was a kid, he they would sleep in the same room. They shared a bedroom. And yeah. Simon would wake up in the morning just like surrounded by shoes, pillows, or whatever. Because <laughs> his brother was on? just launching stuff at him <laughs> in the night to try and get him to shut up. So he's a heavy sleeper as well, then I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's like me. I once I'm asleep, you don't wake me up. Yeah. I you I mean you can try, but I'm not gonna wake up. <laughs> so the next question comes from Peking. 
Um, as this popular popularity grows, is it just a matter of time before Strictly Come Dancing get in touch? <laughs> It'd be so bad. <laughs> it would be so bad. He would do it though, wouldn't he? Come on. I, I, I feel like if he would. I feel like he'd give it a go. I don't know. It's a lot of work. Like you go from sitting in front of a computer, which is a lot of work, to actually having to move as well as doing work. I mean, that's just. He'd be more likely to do something. Um... They used to do that program. Is it was it called the jump? Mm-hmm. Oh, like Winter yeah. Olympics, you won. Oh, to do like skiing and stuff like that. Isn't, isn't that the one that, that half of the cast like broke yeah. their ankles and things? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he'd be more likely to do something like that <laughs> than strictly. Yeah, it is a bit risky that the jump. Really, if you think about it, it's like you know, it's not surprising that half of the non-professional ski jumpers that jump off uh, like a thing, hundreds of feet or something, I don't know, get hurt. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah it's not a shock. There's no. been a lot of broken bones. I don't think they do it anymore, do they? Because of that reason. I, I don't think, I think that they they're insured it. to do it anymore. No. no. It was like one really bad season, wasn't it? They did two or three, and then the last one, it was like every week someone else got some form of injury, someone busted their leg up. Wasn't it Rebecca Adbinton or something like that? Someone like that. One of the athletes anyway, yeah. so like a professional, but it ruined her Olympics and stuff, yeah, and it caused a big it. controversy. Um, not good. As a result, not good. But yeah, he'd much prefer something that was a bit more... Manly, probably. <laughs> I, it would be. I can't I see him in sequins and a spray tan. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> remember that um, TV show? What was it like? Uh, not the oh, Total Wipeout. Yeah. Now that yeah. would be entertaining. I'd, it's I'd like love full to do guys. That. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Real the big like red balls and just bounce and bounce. That's I great. think what we both would have happily done is Krypton Factor. You've yeah. He, he, he talks about that one. Quite, no, he, Simon talks about that one quite a lot. Oh. And Crystal yeah. Maze as well. I did yeah. Crystal Maze when I was younger. There you did one, it? Yeah, there's one, where is it? It's like near Cadbury's World, I think. It is. Oh, right, I not, on the, still not on the actual show. You'd like no, no, no. Like, it was like, um, you, you know, you could basically go there as a, the same thing, just not yeah. the official recording. And they had like the maze and you had to grab the money and everything. It was so much fun. I do love, I, I love those kind of game shows where it's almost like go to different zones and different challenges. And now all that is, is just basically. I'd be the guy getting like, locked in on the first try and. <laughs> Uh, everyone yeah. feels bad because they've got to give up their crystal to get me out again <laughs> yeah exactly um so cole hogan um i'd like to know uh if hell hades gets as big as say ninja uh what would be your most outrageous and unnecessary purchase and what do you think simon's oh. would be it's a good question that that is a good question so if he lands that i don't know 15 20 million deal to go across to the mixer <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> a couple of months. Yeah, and then come back to Twitch. What if 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 money was not a question? What what would be your most outrageous and unnecessary purchase? I honestly don't know. I've never really <laughs> thought about. I'm sure he would in an instant tell yeah. me exactly what he would get. We need a Ferrari for a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's so. It's, 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 it's a hard question. Anything My instinct in the world. would be to just pay for stuff for other people oh oh it's not the question you answer the but question not, that's, no <laughs> that's not what we're asking here but that is that the is answer that fun. wins the community's hearts right there <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know i don't have like dream cars or we're moving into a very lovely house already I, yeah. I... would you want to go like on a kind of like one of those really expensive or expensive pay tip trips to somewhere or something like that yeah i'd probably yeah i'd like to travel a yacht. So that's what I, that'd be one of my options is just like you know some of the crazy expensive things that you can do just like do it like visit antarctica or something buy a ticket on uh, yeah. jeff bezos's um rocket or something the space yeah i don't know if space appeal the thing is with that no. it's not you're, really you're... going to space is it no it's not and you're you're going for 30 seconds it's the worst part about it. There was like millions and millions of pounds it's for like the ticket, and it's thirty seconds in space. Yeah, it's like saying you've gone swimming, but all you've done is put your leg in the water. It's yeah. like that's not swimming. That's like not. It's not like an astronaut who like goes to the space station and lives up there. It's like you literally. You're no Tim Peake. Pipe down. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Good point. You know, I'm sure. Like, and it's not like you can't achieve weightlessness in like earth orbit you know because they obviously do that through the astronaut training where they'll basically take the plane up and suddenly drop them and you yeah. get that same weightlessness effect right? so what are you actually gaining apart from seeing the earth i suppose you know the 
you know, you can for put the flat seconds. earthers. Yeah, that side of it would be quite so. exciting. But, but is it a million dollars per 10 seconds? I mean, it's like... <laughs> well, <laughs> I suppose for like the, what was the name? What, Wally Funk or what was her name? I can't remember that. But she obviously was meant to go up on the... Um, Mercury training program, I think it was back in the 1970s. Like it was 13 female astronauts, and I think well, there's not many of them left now, but she never made it up there. So for her, I can imagine it's like, you know, 50 years of waiting to actually achieve what I trained for. I sure, suppose that's, yeah, yeah. that's a big thing, right? You know, but like the 20 year old kid who's like the son of investment banker, I'm like, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's probably not, he's going to, that is literally a pickup line now. Yeah, I'm the youngest person ever that went to space. Like, here we go. Right. <laughs> so what would what would uh, Simon get? What do you reckon? What would, what would his most outrageous spend be? Um, God, it's so hard. I, would, I couldn't tell you. He he wouldn't give any money away. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually not true. I'm sure that he would. <laughs> A little bit, not all. <laughs> But he would definitely keep some to buy a treat. Yeah. He does like he does like just generally <laughs> I was gonna say just spending money. But he does like if he can buy stuff for people, I think yeah. that makes him quite happy. Awesome. Yeah. He does like doing that, even just like down to the kids. He's like, Oh, I've just ordered a load of stuff off Amazon for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I love getting he Amazon quite likes deliveries. Doing that. <laughs> I love getting Amazon deliveries. They've probably made a fortune out of me alone. Uh, during lockdown you the world yeah, yeah hence why jeff everyone. bezos's wealth went up like 100 billion and lockdown or something stupid yeah like that. Oh. yeah you basically made 100 billion quit and then flew to space but it's like the connection with the outside world somebody some somebody's giving me gifts every day <laughs> which is then told to you by the robot in the room it's that says you. your delivery is coming <laughs> oh yeah well me, me and alexa don't get on <laughs> yeah um, oh. No, we, we, we have to have to have st stern words. She randomly shouts at me in the middle of the night, and I don't know why. Um, oh, okay. But it's awkward okay. and terrifying. And uh, she never listens. Oh, no. Uh, Alexa, 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 Alexa! <laughs> <laughs> she just does not listen. The worst one is I got my lights connected to it, so I'll say, you know, um, turn on the bedroom lights, and they're like, which room do you want that for? The bedroom. Are you sure? That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> turn them on. <laughs> When, and when then, you, the then it turns them on to like 20%. So then you have to go back to yeah. it and say, can you turn you it turn up, it up now? And then oh it does God. it by another 20%. And then you yeah. go a little bit more. <laughs> Keep going. So this gimmick of like having lights that turn on, like the best one is the one where you get the motion sensor actually, because if I just go downstairs in the evening, the lights just turn on and then they'll turn off after two minutes. I never have to flick I a light switch. One of them. Fancy. Maybe I'll buy myself one of those. With all my oh, money. <laughs> on, on that note as well, I, I've actually got a Roomba, um, which is a little robot Hoover. And oh, yeah. uh, um, so again, that's attached to my Alexa, but I can't ask Alexa to do the hoovering. I have to ask Alexa to do the vacuuming, oh, um, yes. which, oh. which is awkward. Um, and uh, yeah, even still, again, an, another robot, which don't get me wrong, Roombas are great. If you, if, if you haven't got one and you can afford it, just get one because I schedule it to do my hoovering every morning, six o'clock in the morning before I get up. So I get up and then the hoovering's done. It's amazing. Um, and it actually does it's a really good a job. Rumba. Now, so the How? problem is this. I've when 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 I was still living at home, my mum would like watch Strictly Come Dancing literally every weekend. So now, to me, when you say rumba, that is not what I'm picturing. <laughs> okay, it's not how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> but again this this thing has an issue with that if one of my animals be it the the kitten or the dog knocks it off its charging platform in the middle of the night the battery will drain down and it will start screaming at me that it needs to be on charge to be able to complete its job um uh, it would terrify my cat yeah another great like thing is if you have it on whilst you're out of the house it will text you to tell you that it's eaten something and you need to go and fix it um, uh, which is really helpful when you're, you know, an hour and a half away. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, what use does that tell you other than what? that I was meant to hoover and yeah. I haven't? It, 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 it just warns you <laughs> that you're coming back to either a mess or, yeah, exactly. or a big problem. Does like, it just trundle off back to its charger? Yeah. Happens? Yeah. Like, oh, oh, well, I, I did some of it. I'll tell him it just didn't work. <laughs> yeah. If it gets stuck, then it just sits there and it's just like, please help me. <laughs> Have you, seen, you can get them for the garden. Have you seen the lawnmower one? They oh, do the same no, thing, but it mows your lawn. 
I need one. I'm yeah, ter- I was I'm having a look at them last grass. week. <laughs> but you have to have like a perimeter. You've got to put yeah. like a thing around your door. Otherwise, it's just going to go off. I imagine it would need to be empty <laughs> quite a bit. lot, though. Unless it's no, got really it, big. It does it. Like, it will go out every day. So you can set it to literally go out every day. So it's only a tiny bit of grass that it's cutting. So it doesn't need Okay, so when Hell Hades explodes and is as big as Ninja... I'm going to leech off him and I'm going to get... <laughs> going to buy one of those. Uh, yeah. Grass-cutting robot. I like grass the idea. And it registers like if it's been really rainy, it's like, oh, no, it better not go out today. And it doesn't go. <laughs> or if it's too cold. Or if it's been like inventions. rainy, sunny, rainy, sunny. So it, it, the grass probably grows quite quickly. It's like, yeah. oh, I'll go out twice today. <laughs> it's so <I'm> clever. <laughs> I actually so need clever. one in my life. Yeah. Oh, that sounds amazing. What would you um, get, Dan? If you had, a if big, I could get anything, I'm, I'm curious now. I want, I want a boat. A boat. Yeah. Now, are 100%. we talking like super yacht? No, or no, 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 like no. A little boat? no. I, I actually, um, one of my my biggest passions in life is fishing. I grew up fishing. Um, okay. And and again, this is the boring side of me. Um, but I, I don't like just um like normal lake fishing. I like sea fishing. I used to do it with my granddad, and it's something that I've always love doing and i i want to own my own fishing boat just so right. i can go out and um are you buying yeah. someone to do the sailing driving sailing what do you do i i i, I figure i'll steer. navigating steer I'll flag my way through it it'd be fine <laughs> i've never driven a boat i mean do uh, they both... have autopilot now i don't know i mean can you like chart a course and just tell it to go i, I, I mean know. that sounds like a very expensive boat but we are dealing with ninja levels here so yeah I mean, um 10 million pounds i mean yeah, I think it's a super yacht. Completely yeah. different boat subject, but uh, have you ever watched Below Deck? I, I keep Deck. seeing it suggested on Netflix, on Netflix and I'm avoiding it. Uh, not, it was what, on Netflix. It yeah, was, I think yeah. it's only four sometimes now, but yeah, that kind of boat. That's, Every time we watch that, we're like, God, we, like, it must cost an absolute fortune yeah. to charter yeah. one of them for I, a few days. That I would, would be awesome. I would like a boat that's big enough that you could spend a, like a weekend on. Um, maybe even longer if you were doing like a particular trip or something like that, but um, something that's still small enough that you could go out just for the day on. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that, that's basically the only thing that I sort of have missing from my life, and that's a boat. A boat. <laughs> Did you know there's actually a super yacht tournament that oh. the rich people have where they basically have a they tournament to see who's super- got the... No, no, they don't race it. They just see who can get the biggest one. Oh. And they're oh. getting like so Roman Abramovich wins it every year because his super yacht literally, I think when you when you look at it in it in Monaco when he goes there, it takes up like half the bay. It's huge. It, it's like got a cinema, it's got everything in there. It's basically a, a, like a cruise ship the size of it. I was gonna say, yacht. then you just get a cruise liner, like pull up next next That's huge. It's just like well, it's mental. I'm like it's bigger than most people. So, oh, like, don't don't worry, I got an aircraft carrier. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not that far off. It's kind of mental. It's huge. But there you go. But yeah, apparently they just have competitions annually to see who's got the biggest boat. Well, that's when you know you've got too much money. Yeah. Um, wow. And who's got the biggest ego? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, we'll call it ego for YouTube's sake. But I mean, come on, we know what they're comparing, really. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so Eggs wants to know, and it, to be honest, I mean, this is, this is a bit of an awkward question. Um, uh, but what would you say to the significant others of raid addicts who have concerns about the time spent and money, etc.? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Stop spending. Does he have a significant other that moans at it, him? It sounds like, a, it sounds like he's happening? looking for advice. Um, <laughs> I suppose what he's thinking is, have you ever had to kind of go, you know, have that conversation almost like you've dropped like £500 this weekend in raid? That's not really a thing. Or have you just kind of gone, well, you know, you do what you want to do. I trust that you're going to be fine with everything. Yeah, Have you ever so had to he, be worried, you know? Yeah, so I was never been a, and he's actually never, well, as far as I am aware, never been a huge spender. It's just hobby money, mm, if yeah. you like. It's never, he's never spent an absolute fortune. I know that he spends money to, like, when he starts playing games sometimes, just to boost him up a little bit, he might spend a little bit of cash to help him along a bit. Mm-hmm. But it's never been anything that I'm like, Steady on, mate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess I think the, the, the thing is as well, in, in your circumstances, is completely different because one, it's a business spend. It's, an, it's effectively an investment. Yeah. If he has to spend money in Raid, for example, it's completely different to anybody who's not creating content. Yeah. 
So yeah. I guess the best advice for eggs is to start a YouTube channel or Twitch. Yeah, give yourself an excuse. Pay off yeah. the debt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it has, Turn it has it into always a job. been in the back of my mind. Like I've said it to Simon a couple of times because we do see the same sort of people when we do shard pools and stuff. The same people have obviously bought quite a lot yeah. of, of shards, spent a lot of money. And uh, it's always in the back of my head. Like it's absolutely fine what you do with your money. Like, it's no yeah. business of mine. But I hope that you've got that money. Yeah, and it's not That's going on credit my, cards. Yeah. Almost, I think people have to you know. realize that you can't, like some of the players that play the game, like they might have parents who've got millions. So they probably get an allowance or something from a trust fund and they just go, yeah. what am I going to spend it on? And I think it's that kind of feeling of, well, if they're pulling, I feel like I need to pull and then be careful you don't end up trying to outspend someone who you can yeah. never outspend, you know? Yeah. You it's get an into that line. competition to sort of encourage people to oh someone else is coming on to pull shards with me tonight so let me know if you want me to pull yours i wouldn't want then someone to be like i oh, don't have any money but i really out. want mm, yeah hell hades to pull my shards you know that that sort of thing doesn't sit very well with me but i can't you you can't think about that all the time no. otherwise i'd be like you no. can't do this job anymore because i feel bad for people that might not have the money that they're spending it's, yeah no, it's because it is effectively gambling as well, and mm. that's that's the problem because you do have that addictive side of it. Um, you know, it's 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 got all. The, it, I mean, there's no way to look any different at it. You know, it is a gambling um, situation where you're trying to pull a champion, which is going to change your account. Um, yeah. And the only way that you can do that effectively um, and have any kind of say over the fact that you're going to be able to attempt to to get this champion is to put your wallet where you're Alphas and See, just go for it. Yeah. I'm on the um, fence about whether it actually classifies as gambling. Because, like, you know, when you play poker, it's kind of like I'm betting that I'm going to win the next hand. So I'm going to get the money back, right? I'm putting money in to make a part of money and I'm going to get it back. Where it's almost this way. It's just like, can you like actually control how much you spend? There's no difference between like spending 500 pounds in a game versus going and saying, I'm going to go buy a, a really expensive bottle of champagne because I just want that bottle of champagne. You know, you're getting something for it you just might not get what you want for it. Or yeah, you might not, true, true. You know, you might go and spend like a hundred pounds yeah. on a steak and it might not be as good as you thought it was. That kind of thing. But then you it's... wouldn't go and spend another hundred pounds straight away on another steak. True. Depends how hungry, hungry you are. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's like, it's very difficult to <laughs> actually categorize it. Because... Sausage roll, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you'd at least go to a different, yeah, different yeah. restaurant. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's like that thing where you, you see some people who basically rack up like, you know, when they don't know how to manage their money. I saw it when I went to university, people would just go into shops and buy things because they don't know what they're buying or how much money they've got. They're not watching their bank balance because they've never had anyone te teach them yeah. to do it. Especially if you come from like well-off families, you're almost just like given an allowance every month. So that money is always there. And then when it's not there, you, you suddenly panic and you just don't have control. And that's where people get in trouble. Yeah. So it's yeah. kind of difficult. It is kind of gambling, but it's also not the same thing. To no, because you, you are right there because you are effectively still getting something. You're um, buying a product. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. the from what I can gather is the the player base is is an older generation. Yeah, yeah, you're it's not people wrong. People that are you're our age, it's, mm -hmm. it's people that have probably got a bit more expendable cash. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they probably don't have yeah. anything to spend because maybe they've got like you know I'm thinking of our clan. We've got quite a number of people who've got younger kids, so they tend to not have any other money. You know, they're not going out every night. They're not going yeah. party and stuff like yeah. that. You know. Yeah, that's so it. I've always looked at Simon spending as. It is a hobby. It's no. It's been no less than yeah. I would spend on, you know, paying for my netball fees for a month or yeah, or going to the gym. It's yeah. the same. That's what he chooses to do with his, and I choose to leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can if he takes his phone or his iPad, and uh... <laughs> he can. Hence mobile. Known. <laughs> I I have played raid outside. I have you know. <laughs> <laughs> we went on holiday to Turkey, and he played it a lot. Legend. That was literally yeah. right before we came back and he made his first video like two weeks later. So yeah. he, he yeah. prepped. He was well he into did. it. <laughs> mm. So fi <laughs> final question that we've got here from uh, but <laughs> I love that reaction. That's like Simon's face during every stream. Sorry, the dog barks. He's like... <laughs> Damn dog, she's probably growling now. <laughs> um, so better, better or worse, how has your life changed uh, since Simon started spending... All week sat in your lounge talking to his computer. <laughs> um, I, I would say it's mostly changed for the better. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice having him about. I quite like him. 
It's quite fun. He's all right. He's all right. To have Contrary around. to popular opinion, he's all right. Yeah. yeah. He's okay. Yeah. Like, believe it or not, guys, in these comments, I actually quite like him. <laughs> Everyone coming to this podcast is probably thinking, right, yes, now we get to find out how much of a horrible person he is once he turns that camera on. It's like, actually, no, he's, he's, he's just a nice he's person, not, really. He's all right. He's, he's, he's all okay. right. In terms but, of family life, especially, it's so much better. You know, yeah. the girls get to spend way more time with him than they ever did. It's, yeah. It's all right. Awesome. It's don't all right. Mind, don't mind having him. In, I, I am looking forward to him having his office. Yeah. Because I literally, I connect my headphones sometimes. I'm just, I don't want to go upstairs at eight o'clock when he's streaming. No. <laughs> to yeah, bed. Of course. So I connect my headphones to the TV downstairs, but I still can't bloody hear. <laughs> it's so yeah. loud. It's, it's just a like, lot of uh, static noise as well when you think you've got like computers, cameras and all that different stuff. Yeah, and that's just, it. Like, you know, his wires. hours wearing away. Yeah. yeah. I think it'll feel pretty quiet when it's not in my front room anymore <laughs> it'd probably be a bit easier to set up the streaming as well when you're doing shard puzzles because it's like you'd have to shimmy in together to try and get yourself on the camera yeah so. we are literally a, a desk whip and he's got your proper space. chair i hear i have got a proper chair coming mm. yeah. Mm. yeah is it a secret lab one no oh do you Just mean a proper proper is, chair but i don't know we're just gamers is it not like secret. ours it's not this like secret oh you can't see my chair Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> like, she, she could turn around I can't remember because she sat in one it's, I've got one right here <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not that you can see it no <laughs> my imaginary chair um yeah. I can't remember but I do have a, a proper chair good I'm in yeah good. So I don't sit on the dining chair then <laughs> awesome right well we'll wrap up the episode there but Rachel thank you so much for coming and joining us and putting up with us uh, as you do all day <laughs> every day anyway with <laughs> our uh, incessant ideas. ranting and stupid ideas yes um, oh, it's um a pleasure but yeah thank you so much for joining us um and no doubt we will see you in a shard pool video and stream very soon well uh, like tomorrow like apparently yes two days <laughs> I'll, I'll, ju I'll just check twitter just to see whether you're doing it or not yeah, yeah. if you could let me know yeah <laughs> i will yeah yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll catch up after this now and we'll find out yeah. thanks awesome well <laughs> fingers crossed that it'll cool down um, for guys watching oh. this on uh, YouTube, please make sure that you press the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to help the new channel grow. People listening on Spotify, please subscribe to the Spotify um, channel. And uh, yeah, we will see you next week for another podcast.